for states should only become countries to the sound of me. The state of Nigeria, the economy, corruption, leadership, and the social political trends in the country were the dominant themes of the second edition of Nigeria's Lagos International Poetry Festival. So I only came to tell you about a line from the book. I Through spoken word, an oral art form that is slowly finding its place here. Poets are adding their voice to a conversation taking place across the country. But while the message may resonate, the style with which it is being delivered is relatively new to many. It's not yet a genre that a lot of people know about, so sometimes it's difficult to attract funding. There's also the problem of audiences. Again, because it's a new art form, sometimes when you say, oh, come for a spoken word event, you're like, what's that? This festival, in addition to other events and competitions, is a way for organizers to help spread the word and introduce artists across the continent. There really you know, isn't any poetry festival of that sort you know, in West Africa, which has a very rich heritage and tradition you know, of poetry and of literature in general. So, yeah, so, so that, that's how it came about, basically, to create that space where young poets, old poets, poets in between, you know, across the continent, across the diaspora, across the world, you know, could come, you know, and um, have poetry engage with society on its own terms, as it were. I've been connected with a lot of different writers, some critics, um, visual artists um, from Nigeria for some years, most, mostly through social media. So it's been a pleasure to meet some of those people um, in real life and to just talk about literature and talk about the future of publishing um, with those folks and with the audiences that have come. Through spoken word, these poets can find a new voice to help grow themselves and speak out so that those in power can help change things.